of requests lately to do more routine videos. Tonight I am doing a deep clean kitchen routine. I do this between once and twice a week depending on if it needs it twice then I'll do it twice. If not then I will just do it once. This week it's already Thursday and this will be my first and only time doing it. The girls just got home from vacation today. So my kitchen pretty much stayed clean all week long from the last time that I did it last week. So I'm doing it now and I figured I would film it and show you guys my deep cleaning thorough kitchen routine. So this is where I keep all of my cleaning supplies for the kitchen and downstairs of the house. This is the bucket that I use for the kitchen, which is vinegar and water solution, some disinfecting wipes, the vinegar that I use for cleaning, the Swiffer Sweeper Mop Refills for the floor, and the Easy Off Fume Free Oven Cleaner. So I usually use baking soda for cleaning the kitchen. Sometimes it's under the sink and sometimes I keep it in the bucket. It just depends. But I will be using it for this cleaning routine. So I start off by cleaning the countertops with the vinegar and water solution as well as the cabinets. I usually do the bottom cabinets and the top cabinets. But I'm due to have my baby in just one day so I was kind of afraid to pull up a chair and stand on it and stretch and clean all of the top cabinets. So then I'll go over to the other side and clean those countertops as well. Then I put the strainer in the sink with very hot water and some Ajax dish soap. Spray it off. These tend to get very gross if you don't clean them often. And we do not have a dishwasher, so I clean this pretty often. So while I'm letting that soak, I go over to the microwave. Take everything off the top, all of the Pringles from the Pringle Challenge, and wipe the outside with vinegar and water. Pull out the inside parts and let those soak in the sink as well. And then I use my heavy duty dish sponge with some dish soap on it, and then come back with a wet rag and wipe that off again. And then I move on to the microwave stand, take everything off of it, throw things out that need to be thrown out and spray it down with vinegar and water and wipe with the microfiber cloth. Then I let that dry for a few minutes and replace everything back onto the shelves that was on there before. And then I move on to the refrigerator. I use the microfiber cloth and the vinegar and water solution as well. As you guys can see, the top of the refrigerator is already very clean. I had just done this a few days ago and organized everything in bins, so that is why I did not do it here. Then I move over back to the sink and wash the microwave parts as well as the strainer and then I rinse with very hot water if I'm not in a hurry I will let these sit on the counter on the towel until they're dry and if I'm in a hurry or if I'm trying to really just get the kitchen done I will use a dry rag and dry them off by hand So there I am drying the strainer off. And then I will dry off the microwave parts as well and replace them back into the microwave. So there I am putting the parts back into the microwave and then moving on to the stove. The first thing I do is 
Take all the parts off and wipe everything down with the microfiber cloth and vinegar and water. And then I put all of the parts to the top of the stove in the sink with hot water, dish soap, vinegar, and baking soda. Baking soda really helps with taking all of the food and grease and grime off of all of those parts. If you let it sit for a little bit and then you wipe it, it'll come right off. So then moving back over to the stove, I wipe the top down again with a wet rag. Stoves tend to get pretty dirty so I do multiple steps in cleaning the top of the stove. Then I come back with my heavy duty sponge and some dish soap and hot water and wipe that down again. So once I am all done wiping down the top of the stove, I go back over to the sink where the stove parts were soaking and I use a heavy duty sponge to clean those off. And again, if I am not in a hurry, I will let them sit out on the counter and air dry. But if I want to hurry up and get it done or if I have other things to do, I will use a dry rag to dry them off and replace them back on the stove. So here I am putting all of the parts back onto the stove. I had just cleaned my oven a few days prior to this so I did not have to clean the oven. But I would normally use the Easy Off Fume Free Oven Cleaner. There's a few different methods of ways you can clean the stove on the back of the can. I usually do the two hour cleaning or the easy overnight cleaning. And then I move over to the trash. I take the trash out if the bag is full and wipe it down with some disinfecting wipes. If I don't wipe it down often, it will get pretty nasty and we just bought this wooden trash can and I really like it so I keep it very clean. And then I move back over to the sink since I'm done using it for everything. I clean it with a heavy duty sponge and some dish soap. And then use a rag to dry it off. And then I will come back with some disinfecting wipes since sinks can get pretty dirty as well. And I go over that again with some disinfecting wipes as well as the sink hose. If I don't clean that often, that can get pretty gross as well. So when I'm done with this sink, I just move on to the floors. I usually do the floors every night because they can get very dirty very fast with kids. 
sticky things on the floor and food and crumbs and they're usually running in and out of the back door so the floor gets very dirty. I will go over it twice with the broom and twice with the Swiffer. So that is pretty much all of my kitchen cleaning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed.